Hey you guys, what's up? We are back with another WTF is this. WTF, like how do you sleep if you got your breast and your butt done? Oh girl, we are gonna talk about it. Okay, so if you have had a breast augmentation and a Brazilian butt lift or you're about to have one done, these tips will help you in general and then we're going to talk about two or three sleeping devices um, to help you recover. So number one, you need to check your skin daily. We already talked about that but specifically for combo cases because one procedure may be lacking or you may be giving some attention to one procedure, say your butt and you know, your, your breasts, you don't feel at all. So you're not really keeping a close eye on it like you need to be. So definitely check your skin. And when you're laying flat on your stomach, then sometimes your breasts kind of smush in and you'll get like maybe a little indention here or your bra may be rippled up or maybe down here in the incision area where they put tape or sutures, that may be bundled up and it may cause an ulcer or you may have some bruises that you didn't notice. So every day you need to be checking your skin. This is why combo cases are a little bit challenging depending on how much work you need done because one procedure may lack attention um, versus the other. Um, it also, you know, just puts you at a higher risk for um, infections and complications because now we have to pay close attention to not one procedure, but two different separate procedures. So let's get back to the point. Check your skin, okay? Number two, if you're laying down flat, which you will be, depending on if your your doctor, if you if your doctor put fat in your hips, you may can lay on your back. If he gave you a shelf and some projection, then predominantly you're gonna be laying on your stomach, okay? So when you're laying on your stomach, your breasts are getting swollen. They're swelling up a little more because you're lying flat like this. If you were just to get a breast augmentation, we suggest that you sit or sleep in a recliner for the first few nights or even in your bed with a couple of pillows so you can have a little bit of elevation to reduce swelling. But in your combo case here, you're gonna be like this. So your breasts are gonna swell. So my little handy dandy ice, you need to put an ice pack to help the swelling. Now this is a hot and a cold pack, so I can technically uh, microwave this and have it warm. It's cold now, it's frozen. Right now I literally just took it out of the freezer. This um, material, let me zoom in a little bit, helps uh, with skin or it it is for skin to it's for this to be placed directly on the skin if you have a bag of peas or a bag of just a ziploc bag with some ice thrown in it do not place this directly on your skin it will burn your skin because you cannot feel it so even with this even though this is for the skin and it's it won't burn you or anything like that I put like a pillowcase down on the bed, put like a pillowcase on it, and then I have the, the guests lay on that. That's just because I'm extra. But ice is gonna help reduce the swelling. We want to um, not have your breasts like swollen bowling balls. Um, and the third thing I want you to do is I want you to make sure your faja for your BBL is not digging into your incision here. So I would put your bra on first and then your faja. So your bra is kind of on your incision. I want you to pad that incision. So maybe a gauze or something like that to um, prevent your faja from digging into your incision and causing a whole mess. Um, so those are just some, some sidebar tips to help you with your breast aug and BBO. Now let's talk about, let's talk about sleeping devices. I'm gonna show you two that we use here at Shapes. If you do not have anything, if you don't have any of the things that I'm speaking about, that is okay. I want you to grab a towel, just a regular bath towel, maybe two, roll it up into a roll like this, okay? And you're going to sleep with it up here. You're gonna have two separate ones. So one roll is gonna go here. One roll is gonna go underneath your breast, all right? Just like that so you can be lifted and you're not smushing your breast, 
All right, that's if you have nothing, we will make it happen, okay? You just grab that towel right from the closet. Um, this is something that we have here as well. It's a pillow, basically a breast pillow. It goes kind of in the same position, roll here. This goes in the sternum area and your breasts go here. This I use kind of for um, my guests who have smaller implants placed. It's a little more comfortable. If you got like 500s or anything like that, you might have to stretch these bad boys out like this, okay? So that's one device we have here. And then we have my favorite guy here. So you'll be laying here, your breast will go into these two holes. So same idea, sternum down, well, that's in your sternum, and then your breasts go right here. I'll turn to the side so you can see your breasts go right into the little area there. All right, so we do have these for sale here at the house. So if you are having a breast augmentation and a BBO coming up, just DM me or message me and I can ship you one. So I hope this video helped you guys. Um, I hope the little tips help continue to research. Um, let me know if you have this procedure coming up. I will talk about other combo cases in um, future videos of how sleeping devices and tricks and stuff like that. If you have like a tummy tuck and a BBL or um, a mommy makeover, we're gonna talk about all of that. But this video just specifically talks about breast aug and BBL. So I hope you snatched girl, all right? All right, I'll see you at the next video. Mwah.